In our journey through the scriptures, when we contemplate the end times, our minds often gravitate towards the dramatic, unmistakable signs prophesied in the Bible. In this fascination we find ourselves drawn almost magnetically to the vivid display of apocalyptic events. We think of wars and rumors of wars. We think of pestilences, the rise of the Antichrist, the emergence of the false prophet, and the chilling reality of the mark of the beast and the reality that this mark is inching closer and closer to our world today. We think of the introduction of 666. Our attention is drawn to the vivid imagery of the seven trumpets, the four horsemen, and the faithful testimony of the two witnesses. We delve into the mysteries of the book of Revelation and ponder the profound teachings of Matthew 24. These are indeed significant, critical elements of biblical prophecy, worthy of our focus and deep understanding. Yet, in the midst of these grand, almost cinematic portrayals of the end times, there lies a subtler sign, one that is often overlooked in the grand tapestry of eschatological events. It's found not in the vivid visions of Revelation or the Olivet Discourse of Matthew but in the often understated book of Daniel. Daniel, a book rich with prophecy and symbolism, holds a key to understanding our times in a way that is both profound and pertinent to each of us today. The prophet Daniel is a prophet like no other. Daniel stands head and shoulders above most other prophets in the Old Testament. Before we dive into the prophetic nature of this book, let us first understand who Daniel was. Daniel was a Jewish prophet who lived during the time of Babylonian captivity around 600 BC. He was a man of great faith, wisdom, and integrity who served under different Babylonian and Persian kings. Daniel's life was a testament to his unwavering trust in God even in the face of adversity. He was also known for his ability to interpret dreams and visions, which he used to glorify God and share his message with the rulers of the land. Now, let's talk about where Daniel was when he wrote this book. According to the Bible, Daniel was in Babylon when he received the visions and prophecies that are recorded in this book. He was among the exiles who were taken from Judah to Babylon by King Nebuchadnezzar. There is a general consensus among Bible scholars that the book of Daniel was likely written between 540 and 530 BC. Now, let us focus on the prophetic nature of this book. The book of Daniel contains prophecies that foretell the rise and fall of empires, the coming of the Messiah, and the end times. These prophecies reveal God's plan for the world and His ultimate victory over evil. One of the most significant prophecies in the book of Daniel is the vision of the statue in chapter 2, which foretells the rise and fall of four great empires, Babylon, Medo-Persia, Greece, and Rome. This prophecy was fulfilled with remarkable accuracy as each of these empires rose to power and eventually fell. This was an astounding feat of prophecy, and people of Daniel's time and even today are amazed at the accuracy. Finally, the book of Daniel contains prophecies about the end times, including the rise of the Antichrist and the ultimate victory of God over evil. These prophecies remind us that even in the midst of chaos and uncertainty, God is in control, and His plan will come to fruition. Undoubtedly God revealed strange and unusual things to Daniel, strange and unusual things that we can see happen in our day and era. Now today, we are going to focus on one specific prophecy made by Daniel that affects our day and age. Daniel 12 verse 4, But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words, and seal the book, even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. There are different explanations given by Bible commentaries for Daniel 12 verse 4, and all seem to have some validity. The purpose of this sermon is to present the two major interpretations and then leave you to reach your own conclusion as to which one you agree with most. The two major interpretations are. 1. The first interpretation is that the phrase, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall increase, is referring to rapid forms of transportation and the increase in technological advancement. 2. The second interpretation is that the phrase, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall increase, is referring to the idea that many shall search the scriptures for knowledge. The majority of Bible scholars prescribe to this second interpretation. However, 
we are going to examine both interpretations because the truth is somewhat we can see both interpretations coming into fruition in today's world. The first interpretation of this verse is that there will be a general increase in the knowledge of mankind. In other words, there will be an explosion of knowledge. This brief argues that the phrase, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased, refers to the unique worldwide travel in the end time with cars, buses, trains, rockets, and airplanes, as well as the increase of physical knowledge. Daniel's prophecy states that knowledge shall be increased. This prophecy has been fulfilled in many ways. We are living in an era where information is easily accessible and we have more knowledge at our fingertips than ever before. We are living in a time of unparalleled knowledge and technological advancement. A perfect illustration of this is SpaceX, a private aerospace manufacturer and space transport services company founded in 2002 by Elon Musk. The very existence of SpaceX exemplifies the astonishing leap in human knowledge and capabilities. Just two centuries ago, the most common mode of transport was horseback, yet today private companies are not just reaching for the stars, they are planning to colonize other planets. The journey of such companies is a testament to the rapid advancement of technology and human intellect within just two decades. Private aerospace manufacturing companies have revolutionized space travel. What is most remarkable about SpaceX is its role in pioneering the private space industry. This shift from government-led space programs to private ventures signifies a significant change in human enterprise and knowledge. It reflects our growing understanding of technology. The existence of companies like SpaceX challenges our conceptions of what is possible. Several decades ago, the idea of a private company not just participating in but leading space exploration would have been inconceivable. Yet here we are witnessing private innovation driving us towards a future that once existed only in the realms of imagination. This leap in knowledge and capability within such a short span of time is nothing short of miraculous. It aligns perfectly with the prophecy of Daniel, knowledge shall be increased. We are living in an age where the boundaries of human achievement are continually being pushed further. The rapid pace of technological advancement in our time is a clear fulfillment of the prophetic words spoken through thousands of years ago. The last 500 years have seen significant changes in the way we live, work, and communicate. The invention of the printing press, for example, allowed us to mass-produce books and other materials, making knowledge more accessible to the masses. The Industrial Revolution brought about new technologies that transformed our ability to manufacture goods, increasing productivity and efficiency. The advent of electricity allowed us to harness this incredible power source for lighting, transportation, and communication. The people who lived on the earth 500 years ago lived a vastly different life to the life we live today. The vast majority of our modern-day technology did not exist 500 years ago, microwaves, televisions, refrigerators, cell phones, the internet, all didn't remotely exist. However, the last 25 years have seen an even more dramatic increase in knowledge and technological advancement. The internet has revolutionized the way we access and share information, making it possible for us to learn about anything we want at any time. We can connect with people all over the world through social media, video conferencing, and other digital platforms. The rise of smartphones has made it possible for us to carry around powerful computers in our pockets with access to endless information and resources. We have made significant strides in the fields of medicine, transportation, energy, and many other areas all thanks to the rapid pace of innovation and discovery. This increase in knowledge and technological advancement has been both exciting and overwhelming. We are able to accomplish things that were once impossible. But we are also faced with new challenges and dangers. The Internet, for example, has brought about a new era of connectivity and collaboration, but it has also given rise to new forms of crime, addictions, and observation. The second interpretation is supported by commentaries and Bible scholars who hold the position that Daniel 12 verse 4 is not referencing travel and physical knowledge but is actually referencing the searching of scriptures and the gaining of spiritual knowledge and insight. This view holds the perspective that people will go to and fro in the scriptures, searching them continuously, and as a result, 
there will be an increase in knowledge. Proponents of this viewpoint argue that, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased, is not a reference to automobiles, or jet planes, or the advancement of education, it has reference to the study of the Word of God in the last days, especially the study of prophecy. In other words, what God is saying to the prophet Daniel is that in the last days, God's people can increase their knowledge of prophetic scripture as they apply themselves to the Word of God, and this in it.